Hi, I'm Sean from Posme Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a free SSL certificate to your WordPress site using DreamHost. We'll also make use of a free WordPress plugin to make sure that our site always loads via HTTPS after we've activated the SSL certificate. To use the setup that I'm going to be showing you on your site, you will need a DreamHost account and your site will need to be hosted with DreamHost. To be fully transparent, I am a DreamHost affiliate. I've been using DreamHost since 2006 and regularly recommend them to clients and friends. You'll find my affiliate link in the description below. If you buy through my link, I appreciate your support and I'm here to answer any of your questions. So before we jump in, it's important to understand that you can, of course, also set up an SSL certificate using many other options. But in this example, I'm going to be showing you how to set this up using DreamHost. And do keep in mind that DreamHost does provide free SSL certificates on all their plans where some other hosting providers charge an additional fee for this add-on. So let's jump in. For this example, I'm going to be using my demo site my.posme.com. And if we have a look at this page, you'll see that the site is currently not using an SSL certificate. At the top left here, you'll see that the URL is not displaying the HTTPS and we cannot see that secure lock. It actually says not secure in the browser. And if I click on this, it says your connection to the site is not secure. So we want to change this, we want to install a SSL certificate and we want to make sure that this website and all pages on the site always load over HTTPS and that the browser displays a secure connection in the URL bar. If we compare this to posmemedia.com, for example, you will see that this site is using an SSL certificate and at the top left here, it is loading over HTTPS and if we click on the secure lock, it says that the connection is secure. So what we want to do is jump into our DreamHost dashboard. On the left, we want to click under Domains, SSL Certificates. I'll mention this again. To set this up using DreamHost, your site will need to be hosted on your DreamHost account and your domain will show up on this page. For this example, this will be my.posmemedia.com. And then to the right, we want to click on Add. On this next page, you'll have an option. You can either use the free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate or you can pay $15 per year to use a Komodo DV certificate. For this example, we're gonna use the free Let's Encrypt certificate. So we're gonna select the certificate. So here we go, this is our success message telling us that this certificate has been ordered for our domain. It also tells us to allow up to 15 minutes for these changes to be pushed out to the server. They also tell us, note that we will attempt to validate the certificate for you, but you may need to confirm control over the domain by clicking the confirmation link in the email sent to your selected domain verification control address. Please allow up to 24 hours for this message to arrive. You can also resend the email from the domain settings page. So here we go in my email client. Here's the confirmation email from DreamHost that they fulfilled the order. They say, we have your Let's Encrypt certificate for my.posme.com. We will be installing it on your site in a few minutes. So next, what we want to do is while they're installing this, is we want to go back to our demo site. And if we log into the back end of Dashboard, which I've already done in this tab, we want to install a free plugin that is going to help us always force redirect all page visits through HTTPS. So I'm going to go and install this plugin. Under Plugins, I'm going to click on Add New. This plugin is called Really Simple SSL. So there we go. I want to install this plugin. So I'm going to click Install Now. It's been installed. Now I want to click Activate. And it's telling me almost ready to migrate to SSL. Some things can't be done automatically. Before you migrate, please check for HTTP references in your .css and .js files. Images, style sheets, or scripts from a domain without an SSL certificate, remove them or move to your own server. And then it is recommended to take a backup of your site before activating SSL. This is best practices when you make any changes, it's always good to have a latest backup of your site. Great, so we've installed this free plugin to force all the traffic through HTTPS and we have set up the SSL certificate in the DreamHost panel. I know for a fact that DreamHost won't be sending me another verification email to confirm my email because I've done that in the past. So once you're ready to activate the SSL, you click this button, go ahead and activate SSL. So there we go, it says SSL activated. Don't forget to change your settings in Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools. Once you activate an SSL certificate on your account, it's important to go into Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools to update that. So now while recording, my session actually expired and I had to go back to my login page and I can already see that my website is loading over HTTPS and it's displaying the lock. So here we go, I've logged back into the site. I'm in the back end of WordPress and I can already see that my website is loading over HTTPS. And if I click on this lock icon, it tells me connection is secure. If we open the site in a new tab, we can also see that our website is loading over HTTPS and we've got that 
secured lock and the connection is secure. So there we go. That's all it takes to set up your SSL certificate using Dreamos. It only takes a few minutes. I also recommend making use of that free WordPress plugin, really simple SSL, to make sure that all your traffic is routed through the HTTPS connection. If you aren't already an existing DreamHost customer and you're interested in signing up, I would appreciate if you sign up using my affiliate link. I'll leave that link in the description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to support you and I'll leave any other links that I may have mentioned in the description below. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to see future videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean from Posme Media, wishing you a great day and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.